Hello students, in this video we'll see the relationship between raw and central moments of random variables. Given a random variable x with pdf f of x, we define the kth raw moment mu k prime as the expected value of x to the power k, which we can compute using the PDF as the integral over negative infinity to infinity of x to the k f of x dx. And typically what we'll write is we will also write mu 1 prime simply just as mu, and this is just the ordinary mean of the random variable. So now we'll define the kth central moment just as mu k, and this will be the expected value of x minus the mean to the power k. And again, we can compute this with the PDF as the integral from negative infinity to infinity of x minus mu to the power k f of x dx. So for example, we can find the relationship between mu 2 and mu k prime, where k is either 1 or 2. So for example, if we look at mu 2, this is the expected value of x minus mu squared, which is just the expected value of x minus 2x mu plus mu squared. And by the linear linearity, and that's an x squared, by the linearity of expected value, this is the expected value of x squared minus 2, the expected value of x times mu plus mu squared. And now we know the expected value of x is also just mu. And so if we simplify this, this is going to be the expected value of x squared minus 2 mu squared plus mu squared. So this is just the expected value of x squared, which we know is the second raw moment. So this will be mu 2 prime. And then I'll have a minus mu 1 prime quantity squared, where mu 1 prime is the same as just mu. So this expression over here is just also mu. And of course, this is the standard formula we know for the variance of a random variable. So this is the variance of the random variable x. We can do one more example. We can see the relationship if we do the third central moment. So the third central moment, mu 3, will be the expected value of x minus mu cubed. We can use the binomial theorem to write this as the expected value of x cubed minus 3 x squared mu plus 3 x mu squared and then minus mu cubed. <coughs> and so if we use the linearity of expected value again, this becomes the expected value of x cubed minus 3 mu, the expected value of x squared plus 3 mu squared. minus times the expected value of x minus mu cubed. So this is just the mu squared. There's no 2 here. And then this is equal to, well, expected value of x cubed is just mu 3 prime, the third raw moment. Then I have minus 3 
mu, and then this will be the second raw moment. And then I'll have a plus three mu squared, and then that will also be a mu, so this will be another mu, minus mu cubed. And we can simplify this. This will be the third raw moment of x minus three, the first raw moment of x, which is just mu, the second raw moment of x, and then I'll have a plus two, and then the first raw moment cubed. And so anytime we wish to compute a central moment of random variable, we can write it in terms of powers of the raw moments of the random variables. Thank you very much.